Hello, this is Steve at GreenTOHShow.com. It's been quite a while since I made a video on hydrogen. I wanted to give you guys an update on what I'm doing. Uh, a couple years ago, I did a couple videos on hydrogen compression. Uh, if you want to go ahead and look at those videos before finishing this one, it'll get you caught up. Go ahead and take a look at that video there. That video will tell you about the hydro tube cell that we're using here and, and why we need to separate the tanks and the gases and how we need to control the, uh, the water level. It'll tell you, this video will tell you how that works so it kind of get you caught up. So if you don't understand what's going on here, just view this video and uh, you'll kind of get what's going on. So let me shut this off. So uh, what we've got here is, this is a hydro tube. It's a uh, split cell uh, generator. There's a lot, people call them a lot of different things. Basically, it produces uh, hydrogen and oxygen by splitting water into two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. And what this, this generator does is it sends the hydrogen out one tube and the oxygen out the other, the other tube. And it splits them uh, at over 99% purity. Um, so that's what this cell is. This is a, it's what we call a six inch hydro tube. And I think this one's got 13 plates in it. Each, in between each plate is a, a separation membrane that keeps the gases on the, on the uh, right side so they don't co-mingle together. Uh, power in this cell is 12 volts of power. We've actually got it set, uh, I think it's, we've got it set at 15 volts right now. You can see it's running about 20 amps, so 15 volts, 20 amps. Um, going to the cell, um, we've got a drain here to drain the electrolyte out, but uh, the ports are on the back here. Got a hydrogen output port, so this carries the hydrogen and the water up to the reservoir tank. We've got an oxygen output right here. And then down at the bottom of the cell, there's the water inputs for the hydrogen and oxygen side. Right here we've got our tanks. These tanks are made out of ABS. <clears throat> this is the hydrogen tank. This is the oxygen tank. The reason why I did this and this kind of tank is so that it'll hold some pressure. Now this hydro tube here will go up to about between 25 and 30 psi. So what we're doing right now is uh, we're compressing the uh, hydrogen. And you can see we've got it about 10 psi and we're letting the oxygen escape. We're letting the oxygen escape out of the system through this solenoid right here. And you can hear it ever so often. It lets a little oxygen out. So we vent off the oxygen and we're keeping the hydrogen. And right now I've got the hydrogen coming off of the tank here. Comes down this hose and up to this 100 gallon propane tank. And what we're going to do is we're going to compress the hydrogen in this tank up to 25 psi. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a compressor and we're going to pull all the hydrogen out of here and we're going to compress it into a smaller propane tank at about 130 psi. And I want to see if I can do that. Um, obviously we're going to test the purity of it. You don't want to have more than 4% oxygen. If you do, you're, you're going to be in big trouble. There's an explosion hazard. 
uh, any static electricity, a spark, flame, whatever it could ignite a hydrogen bomb. So if any of you are trying to do this at home, it's almost impossible to know the purity of your hydrogen without a without a machine, an analyzer. And if you're above 4% oxygen inside your hydrogen, you're going to be in trouble. So if you're going to try and do this at home, please be safe. I know these this equipment is expensive, but uh, it'll keep you safe, and that's important. So we're going to test the hydrogen, make sure that it's uh, above 96% pure and uh, then we'll know it's safe to be able to compress. So when you get a new tank like this there's going to be some air in it because there's just air in the tank when you get it. So if you're going to compress anything into a tank make sure you run hydrogen into it and then gas it off and empty it three or four times make sure you get all that air out and then uh, then you know you're only putting in just hydrogen. So we've adapted this this regular propane fitting to a ball valve and we've got a one-way check valve that keeps everything in nothing's coming out and uh, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and let this tank fill it's gonna take quite a while I've had it running for about an hour. This cell doesn't produce a whole lot. Probably a little less than one liter per minute of hydrogen. So it'll take a while to fill the tank. But we'll come back in the next video and we'll, we'll test the purity of the hydrogen out of this tank. Make sure we're safe. And then we'll go ahead and I'll compress it all the way up to 25 psi and then in another video we'll do the uh, we'll use a compressor to uh, compress it up to 130 psi all right if you have any questions please ask them below I try and um, answer all the questions um, so yeah this is uh, this is what we're doing right now and uh, Please uh, come back and watch our next videos. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.